This is a multiplying fraction problem. Um, the mistakes that I'm seeing are, number one, people are mixing up the rules. When I multiply fractions, I don't need a common denominator. That's for addition. So one of the things, first things that you have to remember with multiplication is I'm just going to multiply numerator to numerator, denominator to denominator. Then the other mistake is not simplifying after you have your answer. I chose this fraction on purpose to show you another common thing. If you knew your math facts better, you would see that I can simplify this fraction before I even start. 12 and 15 have a common multiple. That common multiple is 3. So when I divide 12 by 3, I get 4. And when I divide 15 by 3, I get 5. So now my problem reads... 4 fifths times 1 sixteenth. I could have multiplied this 15 and 16 together, but then I get a really big number, and simplifying is going to be more difficult. Now, I can even go further here. I can cancel this 4 and this 16, because they have a common multiple in 4. So 4 divided by 4 is 1. 16 divided by 4 is 4. So now let me rewrite my problem one more time. 4 divided by 4, remember, is 1. So now I have 1 fifth. And I'll write my time sign again. 16 divided by 4 is 4. And I have 1 fourth. All right, I'm going to multiply across. 1 times 1 is 1. Numerator to nu numerator. Denominator to denominator. 5 times 4 is 20. I can't simplify that problem any, so I'm done. Now remember, don't mix up the rules. With a multiplication problem, we just multiply numerator to numerator, denominator to denominator, and then you need to simplify if you can. Watch this video as many times as it takes until you learn how to multiply fractions.